Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with an L3 Waxy Wonders haul. Um, so I am just going to jump right in and get started. The first thing I'm going to start off with are these samples. And I just want to show you the cute little bag that she put them in. Um, just a cute fall autumn bag. So there's that. Alright, let's get into the samples. The first thing I have is... Um, I'm not gonna read all that. It's pecan pie, frosty lattes, and butter grum, pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookies. So a lot in there. Um, okay, on cold, I definitely pick up some of the pumpkin pecan waffles, but there's something in there that I don't really care for. Maybe it's the, um, buttered rum. This is really sweet. Like I said, I pick up uh, the strong pumpkin pecan waffles and a little bit of that coffee latte note. Alright, the next one is pink sugar, peppermint, lavender cream, hello lover, cotton candy frosting. A lot of stuff. This is really strong. I definitely pick up the peppermint obviously it's a very nose clearing peppermint and I get the hello lover now I'm not a hundred percent sure what hello lover is I know it contains lemon and that is what I smell I don't get any cotton candy frosting or really any pink sugar and not really any la lavender cream so just a very strong peppermint lemony scent it's not bad And the last sample is a scoop sample, iced carrot cake, cinnamon sugar. This one, oh god, this smells disgusting. This is probably the first thing I've gotten from L3 that I absolutely hate. It is nasty. I don't know if it's the cinnamon sugar or the iced carrot cake. This smells like A&D ointment. This is, ugh, I can't, I don't know if I'm going to throw this away or pass it along, but I, it just smells like straight up A and D ointment, so I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> it's nasty. If you got that sample, let me know if that's what you smell. I'd like to know your opinions on it. But anyway, I am going to start off with the, I got two of these mystery bunts. I love these. Um, they are $1.25 each, and that's pretty well priced for the amount of wax that you get. I have no idea what this smells like. It's bakery, but also like a slight tinge of like a cologne scent. I have no idea what I'm smelling. <laughs> I think that's one of the things that I don't like about the mystery things, that you don't know, but obviously it's a mystery, so... I don't know. I still like them. So that was the first one. And the second one is just this purple green color. Kind of reminds me of like the Joker. This is super good. I love this one. It's very, very fresh. Um, there's definitely herbal lavender in there, which I love because, you know, you all know that I love herbal lavender. It's very relaxing to me. I don't know what the green part is, um, it almost, it's also like a cologne I don't, fresh cologne scent, but not like super strong. I think the, the herbal lavender is definitely what is the strongest in here, but I really love this. I'm going to put those off to the side. Um, let's do the little wax tart or fluted tarts. This is apple cider toasted mallow donuts. Like I said, like I always do, I take one out because the bag is super crinkly. All right. There is this. And this one is not my favorite. Um, I don't know if it's that donut scent or the toasted marshmallow. The apple cider isn't super strong in this. 
Um, I don't, I don't know. Something in here I don't really care for, but it's not bad. I'll definitely give it a try and melt it. All right. Let's do the little matrix matrix melts. This is sugar and spice, everything nice and lupo. This is cream cheese stuffed French toast, strawberry mar toasted. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just gonna, okay. Cream cheese stuffed French toast, toasted marshmallow, strawberry cheesecake. There we go. It's a mouthful for me anyway. Oh man, this is so good. I get that cheesecake right off the bat in that very, um, her strawberry is so authentic. Probably one of my favorites. I love it. I don't get a whole lot of like a spicy note from a French toast. Um, but this is really, really good. If you like strawberry cheesecake, this one is for you. I had to get it when I seen it or when I saw it. Oh gosh, I can't talk today. Just another one of those days. White fluffy wedding cake um, with strawberry jam filling, buttercream frosting, vanilla buttercream, mint gelato, and waffle cones. This is Cake Topper and Apollo the Archer. Right off the bat, the strongest note is that strawberry jam. It's like a strawberry jam um, white cake. I don't get any mint or uh, waffle cones. Just a very nice white cake strawberry scent. But I love it because I love her strawberry. And those matrix, matrix melts were $4.25. The uh, fluted tarts are $3.50, so... The next thing I have is Blueberry Cobbler Vanilla Ice Cream in the little chunks, and these are $2.65 each. This is so good. I love blueberry scents. Um, this is definitely a candied blueberry with a very, very strong vanilla ice cream. I don't think I've ever smelled a vanilla as strong as this one. So good. Such a great blend. The next one is Emerald City Baked Granny Smith Apple topped with brown sugar on a pretzel crust. And this one is super, super thick. Like if you see like the difference on that, this one is really thick. So now it says it says that it has Granny Smith apples. And Granny Smith apples are the green apples. I don't get any tartness. In this, to me, this smells like a, a Macintosh apple with a little bit of that brown sugar. And I do get that uh, salty pretzel crust. It's definitely a salty, sweet scent. I don't get any tartness from Granny Smith apple. Maybe it's a typo. It definitely smells like a Macintosh apple to me. But I really love that scent. And I'm usually not a fan of, like, apple scents. But I'm starting, you know, to get used to them. Alright, we have these little forest friends. And these are $2.95 each. This one is Aunt Jam's Filled Jelly Rolls. Strawberry Jam, Whipped Cream, Whipped Cream Cheese, Powdered Sugar, and Vanilla Pound Cake. And it's in this little cute turtle. Uh, once again, her... Man, her strawberry jam is so good, and that is what I pick up mainly. I don't really get um, a pound cake note or powdered sugar. I do get a little bit of like a cream cheesy type scent, but a very strong strawberry jam. And I'm fine with that because it is one of my favorites scents from her. The next one we have is Cinnamon Donuts Mexican Hot Cocoa, and this is a cute little frog. Sorry that you can't see it, but I don't want to take these out because maybe you could see it a little better. This one, 
is not my favorite. <laughs> you definitely get a really strong kind of red hot cinnamon, which I'm not a fan of. I thought it was going to be like a sweet cinnamon sugar. I don't really pick up much of the hot cocoa note, but maybe it will come out more when warming. Almost done, guys. We got caramel pear pie crust. Just a cute box. Man, her pear is so good. I get a little hint of, like, the pie crust. Not really strong. A little bit of the the caramel but the pear is definitely very strong it's very green as well um it almost smells kind of grassy to me but i really like it very fresh juicy delicious all right the last one we have is christmas bonus jelly of the month club which is strawberry raspberry blackberry jelly served over sweetbread and I'm going to take this last one out because, like I said, these are $2.95. And I'm going to show you what they look like. Well, one of them. If I take them all out, it would just be really time consuming. This is a cute little owl. And this sucker is thick. So if you're wondering, you know, $2.95, that seems a little pricey. It's not. It is very, very thick. I could easily get maybe... Uh, four or five melt out of this sucker because it is so thick yeah and this is super super good now in this one to me it almost has like a perfumey note to it i don't get any sweet bread honestly i just smell the blend of jellies so let me put pop this little guy in frame Alrighty, guys that was it for my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it was just a quick little haul. I didn't get too much this order because there was, I know she has a really big scent restock list. There was just not a whole lot that I wanted or really needed because I have so much. Um, I don't want to feel like overwhelmed. Anyway. I'm going to stop uh, talking. <laughs> okay, bear with me, guys. It's been a really long day and just I'm going to stop blabbering. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.